While it may come as a surprise to some, the electric automobile predates its gasoline-fueled counterpart by a significant margin. Before Henry Ford's Model T dominated the American roads, his wife, Clara Ford, was seen cruising around Detroit in her electric car, a Columbia Mark 68 Victoria, heralding an age that would take over a century to fully dawn. The electric cars were so popular that even when the Model T became the king of the roads, Edison and Henry Ford were still thinking about making an affordable electric car as late as 1914. This era, when electric vehicles stole the limelight however brief, is a fascinating testament to human ingenuity and technological innovation. And it all began with a stench. Many of us are fond of the old western's charm, with their rugged cowboys and horse-drawn carriages painting a picture of nostalgia. However, these films leave out the unpleasant, olfactory reality, a pervasive stench of horse manure and sweat. This was more than just an inconvenience. It was a major public health issue in the increasingly crowded cities of the late 19th century. Horses, though reliable, brought with them a multitude of problems. Every horse produced up to 35 pounds of waste each day, leading to unsanitary conditions in city streets. With the urban population and the horse population in the cities swelling in tandem, these streets became a muddy, unhealthy morass as were an ever-present reality, creating a genuine urban crisis. Steam-powered cars offered a potential solution, but they were far from ideal. These vehicles were prone to boiler explosions, required long startup times, and could be difficult to operate. As cities grappled with these transportation challenges, inventors turned their attention to an emerging technology, electricity. The earliest known electric car was built in 1837 by Scottish inventor Robert Robert Davidson, powered by non-rechargeable primary cells. Although it was capable of reaching four miles per hour, the limitations of battery technology at the time made it impractical. Admittedly, its initial impression seemed more of a captivating novelty. Behold, it moves without horse or ox than a practical mode of transportation, but it nonetheless inspired a sense of awe and wonderment. Things got more interesting after the French physicist Gaston Planty invented the first recharge rechargeable lead-acid battery in 1859. Thomas Parker, a British inventor, built the first practical electric car in 1884. Fueled by his own specially designed high-capacity rechargeable batteries, the vehicle was well received by the public. It ran smoothly and silently, didn't emit noxious fumes, and didn't require the manual cranking that early internal combustion engines needed. William Morrison, a Scotland-born chemist residing in Des Moines, Iowa, sought a patent in 1890 for an innovative electric carriage. This inventive vehicle, which he may have assembled as early as 1887, made its public debut at a city parade in 1888. Showcasing an impressive array of features, it boasted a front-wheel drive and produced a power output of 4 horsepower roughly 3 kilowatts. Despite its modest speed of 20 miles per hour, about 32 kilometers per hour, the vehicle was a marvel of the era, powered by 24 battery cells, although they necessitated a recharge every 50 miles, approximately 80 kilometers, adding a chapter to the legendary Electrobats in the tapestry of early electric car history further illuminates the era. Introduced by the Philadelphia-based company Electric Carriage and Wagon Company in 1894, the Electrobats were a series of electric vehicles that pushed the boundaries of what was then perceived as possible in the automobile industry. Engineered by inventors Thomas Davenport and Isaac Rice, the Electrobats boasted a sophisticated design. With an emphasis on weight reduction, they featured a sturdy but lightweight tubular steel frame, pneumatic tires, and front-wheel drive. They were powered by 44 rechargeable lead-acid cells, delivering top speeds of about 20 miles per hour and a respectable range for that time. The Electrobats Bats quickly earned fame, not just for their innovative design, but also for their performance on the racetrack. The 1895 Chicago Times-Herald race, one of America's first recorded car races, was a pivotal moment for electric cars when an Electrobat was pitted against its gasoline and steam competitors. While the race was won by a gasoline-powered car due to the severe weather conditions favoring the internal combustion engine, the Electrobat's performance was lauded, and it indeed won races in subsequent, more city-suited 
current conditions. One of the most notable moments of this early era came in 1899 when Belgian race car driver Camille Janatsky's electric vehicle La Jamais Content became the first car to break the 60 miles per hour or 100 km per hour speed barrier. Powered by two direct drive Postel Vignet 25 kilowatt motors, Janatsky's bullet-shaped electric vehicle demonstrated the potential of electric cars, trouncing its gasoline-powered competitors. Despite the initial promise, early electric vehicles grappled with their own set of issues. Limited driving range and the lack of electricity outside urban settings hindered their broader adoption. Nevertheless, these early innovators paved the way for the electric revolution we're experiencing today. Over a century later, Clara Ford's choice of transportation has come full circle, emerging as a favorite solution for contemporary, sustainable, and efficient travel.